Hello. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm here today. I'm looking at some interesting stuff going on in Minneapolis as usual. Uh, I don't know what's going on in your town, but this town is a big turn into clown city. Clown city, you know, like one of those shows you go to and uh, to watch clown show and a lot of manipulation going on everybody is trying to pump their chest and manipulate the next person they see I'm talking about politi politically in this town what is basically happening is in the, in the Minneapolis the police the police is manipulating the hell out of the public the city councils the mayor the public of course what is actually happening is, you know, like in New York, if you Google New York, where the New York Police Department reporting a fake news, basically the police officers instruct they are instru instructed by their supervisors to make up to make up uh, to make up crimes. They basically uh, go into their computer and type. Uh, crimes as if somebody call in and, and report crime but nobody call in and report crime they're just making up and uh, generating crime report assault robberies theft you name it they will report so many so much crimes in numbers and then uh, the police will use this this report to go in the front of the city council to go to the mayor and to go to to apply for public funding and it's like it's just like any other business you know uh, the police are no different they are in in there to make money each and every one of them most most cities they make over a hundred thousand a year and which is fine and but what's not fine is that they are the, the, all this lying about the crime rate and then and then actually creating crimes imagine if you trust your your government I don't know if you if you trust a government uh, you trust your government and they are actually lying I'm hoping I'm praying that you going to believe what they're telling you and and trying to manipulate the public scare the public a lot of people are scared in this town right now a lot of people are scared they yeah they have so many this town Minneapolis uh, is a population of about 400,000 people in a population of 400,000 people it's normal it is normal there is gonna be a crime I mean 400,000 people even if even if nobody commit a crime 10 or 20 people are gonna die that's just the way it is 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 it's, it's a it's a fact of life it's, it's so many people uh, there is gonna be an accident there's gonna be somebody stealing it's gonna be assault fight it's normal 400,000 people 20 people die a day it's no big deal I mean you don't want to be I don't want to be the one that that goes down that way but the fact of the matter is this is normal and then take that normal statistic into consideration 400,000 people 20 people will go every day okay and then and then you see a circumstances where the police stop responding to the calls in this town right now in Minneapolis if you pick up the phone and you call the police they will answer the phone the, the idea is they will answer the phone and they will actually wish and pray that you're gonna call the police everybody's gonna call the police because what they were trying to do is to generate a generate a criminal re crime report the crime report is used to try and to manipulate the public and what happened if you have somebody coming after you with machete you screaming and yelling and calling the cops 
and or you can defend yourself kill that person you're gonna you were the one who is gonna be taken to prison you are the one who is gonna be sent to jail you are the one who is gonna be sitting in a, in in prison for the rest of your life just as if you committed a crime uh, there was a guy he owned a pawn shop I think if I old guy I know him old guy that owned a pawn shop uh, he defended himself when a, when a bunch of thugs walk in and, and, and try to rob his store try to burn down his store he defended himself by responding it with with aggressions people coming in broken into the store coming in after the guy he defended himself instead of standing by uh, people having right to defend themselves the police show up a couple hours later and the guy was he, he is now going to be he's in jail he's been in jail for a couple months now and uh, he is going to be prosecuted he's probably gonna spend all of his life in prison this is the kind of societies that we live in where the people are not allowed to defend themselves and if they call the cops the cops don't show up and 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 then the crime report that that generated by the public calling the cops will be presented by the police to the city council to say look we have too many crimes we have too many crimes because you're not you're not doing your job you're not responding to the crimes in any time in any given day you call the police in Minneapolis for any reason there are many different businesses around here I have over 50 friends that own businesses in this town and people go in something happens ro normally robberies assault stealing and uh, they call the police the police uh, uh, they most of the time they never show up if they do show up they show up after three four hours after whatever happened happens if, if you know if, if somebody is killing you the ambulance will come and pick up your body the police will show up with the ambulance after three four hours later and uh, anything else they don't show up and they using this and then what not normally happen is this the public will get tired of it the, the the dispatch from the police department will say oh we don't have enough police uh, <laughs> we don't have enough police officers to respond to your call of course this is a complete lie it is a complete lie it's a complete lie in any given day you go down to Minneapolis there's actually a couple of different parking lot a big parking lot where uh, the police basically hang out they hang out with each other. You see 20, 30 cars, Minneapolis police cars, highway patrols, people, uh, police from different town. They basically hanging out, flipping the tables on the public. How dare you complain about the police brutality? How dare you complain about the police? We are the reason why you exist. We are the reason why the public are safe. So we're gonna let we are going to make sure not gonna respond to any calls for service and if you call us too many times they're gonna go down and arrest the people who actually call in the police when they show up when the police show up they will act as if you are you are the criminal and you are the one that are committing crimes most times they will they will come they will come and arrest the people who are calling the police by being aggressive intentionally getting in the people's faces assaulting them and then grab their person and just forget about what the people the reason why the guy or the person the woman or the guy or the family or the kid whatever the reason why the call was made to the police to begin with after they after they show up three four hour after, you know somebody called the cops and they show up three four hour later of course the public they're gonna get pissed off and and then the police will get in their faces and they will take this person to jail disorderly conduct whatever 
for disorderly conduct, for assault on on the police officer, whatever the fake crimes that they can they can come up with. And then what happened? What what ended up happening is now a lot of a lot of the people they get tired of calling the police. Remember, it's a big city with four hundred thousand people. So they call the news channel, complain to the news. They complain how there are so many crimes. It's not enough cops. Uh, the, the cops don't respond. And there's no cop. They call the news. They call the city council. They call their local representative. And then, of course, this is exactly what the police looking for. They're looking to generate news. They're looking to manipulate the public to turn the table on the pro whatever little progressive that was made during the protest and uh, the news channel will go will, will, will email the police department the city council will contact the police department so they, they, they get what they want and then they, they will come and explain to the to the city council members to the news channel to the whatever big organization that contact them hey we have we, we just have the, we don't have enough enough workers we don't have enough money we don't have enough this we don't have enough that the whole reason is to make sure that they are they become relevant again that they are su supported by the public and they are uh, respected and pumping just pumping their chest and saying hey this is the reason why the having a police department is important uh, this is why we should not be questioned why when we abuse somebody when when we kill you you should be thankful that we are controlling we are uh, the reason why there is peace and freedom in this country and and and, in, uh, and absolutely crazy. And uh, this is nothing new. I I don't think it's nothing new. It's just that uh, I think it's kind of interesting to see when there are some progress, some amount of improve improvement that were made to the Minneapolis police. Normally they go around shooting and killing people, stealing people's cars broken people's back and st st uh, standing on people's neck and uh, even some of them engage in robberies you you have on the on the news where some of the Minneapolis police actually were involved in robberies when they're off duty in just an absolute chaos they go around beating people up assaulting people harassing people running people off the road and then when people try to record what happened, they will take their phones and then and, and throw, the, you know, steal their phones and end up, most of the time will end up killing the people that were there, that, that they are abusing. They're abusing the public and, and they turn it around and make it look like the crime rate is too high. No, we, we want it to be liked by by the public again and they basically looking like this right now they know they they get what they want they went to the city council again this is like a like a business if you look around to uh, how much money Minneapolis police received from COVID-19 SBA funding the SBA funding that were supposed to be for the businesses for people who are not employee the, the police probably not only Minneapolis police but most police uh, and law enforcement communities received a lot of money from uh, from a uh, just look up your local this is public information look up whatever local police department you have in the United States look up the funding that were they applied and received and they they normally have to fill out the paperwork at the end of the year for for tax purposes and if you request it through through FOIA 
freedom freedom of information you should be able to look and see how much money were received and what they spend on of course they're gonna lie and, and write whatever whatever makes mo most sense when it comes to how, mu how much money they spend and what they spend on uh, so the point I'm trying to make here is Minneapolis police recently uh, <laughs> presented the high crime report the fake high crime report in to the city council the city council have to give them money a lot of people come into the city council uh, and basically complain and begging crying <laughs> of how how the crime is taking destroying the the, con the city and the country uh, and that uh, Minneapolis police with it we have to, we need we need the police this is exactly what what the police looking for and uh, it's just amazing to me uh, and uh, so the police decide what to report on their on the report how to report it and when the media come the media the city council whatever people are going to the police asking them we, re we receive a lot of complaint from the public why the police are not responding of course they would uh, they will give this fake idea of how important the police work is and and they control the narrative they control the narrative the police control the narrative and uh, when the public repeat repeatedly see and hear on the news that the crime rate the crime is going up people getting shot and killed hundreds of people a week subconsciously the public mind register that there is not enough cops to respond to the crimes things going up and in 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 exchange the police basically get more respect and uh, the people the, the the public the public form believes based on what they are repeatedly exposed to what is equally concerning is the public doesn't see or hear the news when when actually the they, they don't get to see or hear the the consistent failure part of the police of Minneapolis police where they are failing to respond to calls where they sit in and ignoring calls when they are responding to one or two calls then for the entire shift eight hour eight hour shift or ten hour shift they only go to respond to one or two calls and they just sit in their cars pretending that they're not done they're not done they're still working on these calls when in reality they spend two minutes talking to some somebody and it's done but they they're pretending or wasting the public resources and this is ridiculous if America if the public can 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 hear then the fact that the police is ignoring the public calls for help they are ignoring the call for help intentionally so that the crime rates can go up when people get tired of calling they turn on to call in the city councils, the local news to complain about their about why there is not enough uh, resources. Why not? <coughs> uh, there's not enough, enough enough police officers to respond to the calls, even though intentionally the the cops ignoring to respond to the to respond to calls. By doing this, they basically turning turning the views of the police being bad into the public having no choices than to beg the police to come to their to their rescue uh, by ignoring the police by ignoring the public completely imagine 400,000 400, people and the police don't respond to calls for the entire two three months of course the crime rate is gonna go up that's the nature of things So the public, the, poli the police is basically going on silent strike to coherently infect the minds of the people, re 
to register that the police work is important risky that the police should be the police are incredibly brave people that that should be respected and this is basically demonstrate that, that how the news media the news media only report whatever the police tell them also a lot of the people that run the uh, news media they're scared of uh, they're scared they're scared of the police because mainly what ended up happening is the police can grab anybody and charge them with, with whatever fake crimes and the public have the judges are scared of the police the prosecutor themselves is scared of the police. They're scared of each other. Because all of these people, they have the power to charge and destroy each other's life. More so, they have power to destroy the, the public life too. Imagine if one of the news news reporters, the police don't like how, how he reported uh, the news when it comes to one of their stories. The police can decide at any time not to share any kind of news to with that person. Even if the FOIA request is made, they can ignore they, they can ignore the FOIA request. Meaning that if the if if the reporter requested a information on what the crime rate is for this week, like how many calls were made to this police department for the week or for for months through the FOIA request they can completely ignore that request and shut them off of whatever information that were supposed to be available to the public they can do that and they can also send somebody to go and make up and make up crimes and arrest that that reporter to, to try to to try to make sure this to destroy that to destroy that uh, Reporters, reporters' life completely through charging them with fake crimes. Like, for example, they can get in the get in the faces of the of the reporters and charge the reporter with with uh, assault on police officers, disorderly conduct, you name it, F uh, fake traffic uh, infraction, traffic violations of all kind, and a lot of people are scared. Of the, of the cops in this town basically the police control the media control the narrative and uh, the police department also understand the public construct their opinion based on what they are exposed to just like when children watch cartoons they're exposed to that cartoon their idea is what their idea implemented from there like just like when you when, when people listen to a uh, news of of certain things, exposed to certain things, they keep repeat, they keep hearing, they keep listening to the same thing over and over again, and they're basically going to attach to that story and take that story as a fact. They're going to. So basically, the police want the public to associate associate their minds with the negative, high crime news to get cemented in their brains. Once, once the people reform their beliefs, it is hard for them to change their way of thinking. This is not this is not a inc this is no incident. This is part of the police. They commonly break stories that suit their agenda and uh, listen closely to the word used in the police in the police news report listening listen to the way the police reported be conjunctive of word police use when when they when 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 you read the newspaper for example those stories are constructed carefully to make you feel and believe in a certain way what some have called high crime rate is rampant on the airway in, in uh, across the web the concept the concept is not new Walter there is a guy who who was teaching this in 1970 about consumer journalism journalism 
He stated that the public must be aware, be wary of what they consume because they, because every news story is told with the political agenda. The producers and editor want you to feel certain way, believe certain truth. Will not be able to wipe out law enforcement to manipulate the public opinion to get more money for the department to prevent to 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 intentionally. Uh, produce fake crimes all to control the narrative what the consumers see and uh, stay tuned and that's that's it I think uh, you should you should get you get the idea of what I'm talking about